Hey guys, what is up? It's Biff and you're watching Fearless Mods. In today's quick episode, we're just gonna show you how to do a simple relative compression test on any car that you might be considering buying so you know from the start whether or not you've got good engine health. Interested in how we do it? Stay tuned. We already did compression checks on the car with, with a manual gauge by going into all the various plug locations. But today we're just going to back that up with our amp clamp and secondary voltage lead. Let me go ahead and get in here and get this all hooked up. We'll get the Pico scope and we'll go ahead and see how this thing seems to be doing on compression. All right, first off, we've got the battery topped off. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove our floating point charger here. And on this amp clamp, it should automatically adjust on the Pico scope. There's a little arrow on here that shows the direction of current. So remember, current always flows from positive to negative. And I'm going to use the negative, I believe. I've got two wires on there and I should be able to get around both. And I want to make that arrow point towards the battery. We've got this positive that we've got to have out of the way and point this arrow towards the battery. Okay, I think we're on it. Feels like the jaws are closed. And then the next thing we want to do is take our voltage clamp here and just put it on the number one plug wire. We're not as worried about the direction on that one, but we do want to make sure that we ground it. All right, so we've got both of those. All we need to do is plug these in to our PicoScope and we can see what we've got. Okay, we'll put our amp clamp on the first position. And we'll put our voltage clamp on the second position. Our lights are all showing appropriate contact. Actually, before I do that, the next thing I'm gonna do is pull out the fuse for the fuel pump because we don't want the fuel pump running. We don't want it to start during this test. We got two injector fuses. I suppose we could pull them out. See if we shut off our injectors. All right, we'll give it a quick check here and see if it looks like we have gotten our polarity correct on everything and see what we got. So let's set that to 500 manual. Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna save that one. Now we're gonna do one more on Let's put this on a thousand amps. There we go. Now we get a good look. All right, so what you can see here, this, this is actually a, a good relative compression test, which just backs up and confirms that when we did our other compression te test, nothing has changed since then. So we get our initial current spike, goes up to about uh, 800 volts as it starts to crank and then it settles in here. You can see our number one reference. So one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two, and then it repeats the firing order over and over. And all the way through the run, you can see that we're staying these, that amount of amperage draw for the starter to push through compression of each one of those cylinders is consistent throughout. So there's not, any reason to suspect that we have any kind of a compression problem. So we can check that one off the list. Well, there you have it guys, a quick, easy way, if you have yourself a scope, to be able to do a relative compression test, come in really handy if you're thinking about buying a used car and you don't wanna to have to go through all the trouble we did when we tried to do a compression test on this car. If you don't have a Pico scope like this that has the amperage controls built into it with that amp clamp you saw we were up around 800 volts for that initial crank that will fry a lot of other systems this one has protections built into it but if you get one of the basic pico scope models that you can pick up for a hundred hundred and a half uh, you'll be able to do this kind of stuff just make sure you get yourself a signal attenuator before you plug that amp clamp into there so you don't fry your system this allows you to dive inside with one simple clamp on the battery cable and another one on the plug wire and you saw how quick and easy it was. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how you could potentially get into your car and 
come up with a lot more knowledge with a real simple test. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and keep coming back as we continue to dig into this until we know for sure what the heck is causing us our power loss and misfires. We'll catch you again real soon. Take care.